Okay, here is a uh, short Photoshop tutorial on uh, airbrushing an image. First, we're going to start out with uh, adding a new layer. We do that with Control J and then uh, Control G to add a group. Uh, we're going to uh, keep these as named as the default, which is layer one and group one. We then go to the layer one and we highlight uh, the layer one come up to filter, blur, and surface blur. I have it at 37 and 17 right now. Let's change this to 37 and 19. But any of those two, any somewhere around the upper 19 for the threshold, I mean upper teens for the threshold, and the radius somewhere in the mid 30s. We go ahead and click OK. Depending on the size of the image, it may take a few minutes, I mean a few seconds. My image is fairly large, and I guess I'm running, my computer is running a little slow. But once that's uh, completed, what I want to do is add a new layer. And we do that by hitting Shift Control N once this is completed. So it seems like it's completed, so it's Shift Control N gives us a new layer and on this one we are going to name it. Let's name it texture. We then come to the texture layer. We're going to uh, right click on it so we can get the blending options. And we're going to on the blending mode it needs to be a hard light. Do hard light, hit OK. As you can see it uh, takes a, sometimes a few seconds to do that. Once that's complete, then while it's still highlighted, the texture do uh, Shift F5, and that brings in the fill. Um, I, you need to make sure that the fill is at 50% gray. You hit OK, you see how it turns gray. Come to the left with your eyedropper, hit a neutral spot on her face, of her skin. I'm going to choose here on her cheek. I'm going to choose that. I'm going to move this over to the front here, and you can see that uh, it just chose her her skin color here. If you look on the right side where your sliders are at, mine right now is at RGB, but I need to change it over to HSB. So what I do is I click over here on the on the uh, right side of it, and I get the HSB. I want to click that so that way it turns to HSB, and then from here I want to do the Control U and that's going to bring in our hue and saturation um, panel. Uh, I want you to put on the first one uh, 18, the second one saturation 25 or 26, let's do 26 on this one better, and on the lightness this needs to go further up. In the mid 30s uh, let's do 34 on this and then hit OK. Once that's complete what I want you to do is come out here to the right side and choose the group or and once that group is chosen come up to layer and do a layer mask and put hide all it comes back to we could see the way it originally uh, looked what I do now is get a paintbrush get a large paintbrush this is pretty large already I'm not going to change it and while you're still on the on the group, I want you to fill this all in here. Um, basically, what we're we're doing is we are applying this to her face, her neck, everywhere, and just to make sure that I got every spot, I come over here to the right side where the little black box is at, and do Alt and Shift. Seems like I got everything. Not to be missing anything. Alt Shift again while I'm while I'm, I'm at the layer mask thumbnail, and uh, so it's all covered up her face. So now what I want to do is on the right side I get the eraser tool. I'm gonna make my little thing smaller, and then I open up her eyes. Uh, 
this is where you want to spend a little bit more time uh, doing it. I'm going to do as quickly as I can. Um, the lips are usually an area that takes up more time and then I like to do the eyebrows. Basically anything that's not just the skin itself. And just to make sure that I that I got all the spots, I come over here again to the to the little thumbnail and I do Alt and click. Seems like I got everything. And um, after I do uh, this portion, go to the texture layer, and what we want to do is Control U. Back to the hue and saturation. This time, what we're going to do is the uh, first one's going to be a 10. It could be a 9. Actually, I think maybe we'll do 9 on this one. Do 9. The saturation, let's do a 45. I'm sorry, minus 45. And for the lightness, as you can see, it's it's, it's just much too, too light. So what we want to do is we want to bring that down. And let's move that over. Minus 8 looks good. Minus 9. Let's do minus 9. And we do minus 9. Hit OK. And while you're still on the texture layer, now we need to apply the image. Go up to image. It says apply image. And actually, the default is RGB usually. And so you get a, a screen that looks like this. I mean, your skin that looks like this. But change it over to red. Change it to red. It's a little more natural. Hit OK. And at this point, the, f the image is airbrushed. Let me move in as you can see. It's airbrushed. I personally uh, prefer to have a little bit more skin um, texture shown. So what I do is I go a couple of steps further and well one step further is I highlight the uh, group layer, go up to the opacity and this little slider of 100% and what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove or at least not show as much my group layer and so I move it back down maybe I have to kind of look at it okay there I can see a little bit of her skin I moved it to 64% uh, let's do somewhere around half so we got 50% and if you look at her skin now you can see the texture of her skin. You can even see a slight of the freckle she had on her nose, a little bit of the texture of her forehead. It doesn't look so photoshopped, which is usually my uh, preference. And if I want to see the before and after, is I need to take the visibility of this particular layer group away. So if you look here on the right side, I get the uh, little eyeball here in the box. Click that. And that'll show what the what her skin looked before, and then I click it again, and this is how it looks at now. And I prefer this over the um, that full 100%. So if I zoom out, I can see this is before, and this is after, and that's it. Uh, hopefully it was helpful, and don't forget to visit uh, outletphotography.com. Thank you.